Welcome back to the basement and the layouts and another episode of Steve's Hobbies. In today's episode, I thought we would take a look at some of the changes that have taken place in the last eight months. Yes, it's been eight months since the last layout update, but you must remember that most of the work was completed within three weeks around Christmas. So let's dive in and take a look at just what was accomplished. In today's video, we will take a tour around the layout, but that you might have a better understanding of the origins of this layout, I recommend that you take a look at the movie that I have listed above, which shows the initial planning and building of the layout. In the first two videos in this series, the expansion and renovation of the layout, we took a look at the addition of a yard which was to act as a storage and a place to set up trains to make them ready to run on the main line. So that you may have a better understanding of what was accomplished in the initial expansion and renovation, I recommend that you take a look at the video to which I have the link set above. The original placement of the engine house was right here, and as you can see, the area has been opened up and some preparation has been made for the expansion and uh, remodeling in this portion of the layout, but that's for another video. But before we take a look at the progress on the layout, let us take a look at another important part of any layout, and that is the lighting. Yes, this fixture, which is nearly 70 years old, needed some work. And with the aid of Matty C., we were able to rebuild this lighting fixture and get it back to operation. Now, with that said, let us start to examine the progress that was made on the layout. If you take a look back at a video that was recorded some two years ago, you will note that there used to be a coal field here with a coaling tower, but this created a lot of problems with scale engines and scale pieces. So in order to alleviate the problem on using this siding, we have removed the coaling tower and re-landscaped this side of the layout. Though it is a minor change, you will note it's just one of many minor changes that have taken place. Now let's examine another area of the layout. When this layout was originally constructed, this area was left uncompleted. This water tower was down in that empty yard where the engine house used to sit. It has since been relocated and has been detailed. The area has seen much improvement and continues to see other changes. Continuing counterclockwise around the layout, we come to the other side of the layout and we see where the turf has been refreshed and more trees have been added to the scenery. Taking a look at the center of the layout, we can see that a lot of the landscaping in there has been refreshed and the scenes have been redone. We 
we can see that traffic lights have been added. And of course, the forest on the mountain has been redone with so many more trees added. In fact, on this renovation, we have added over a hundred trees to the layout. Here along the riverbank, we see some people having fun. We have a husband and wife in a rowboat and some kids just enjoying the cool water. Continuing further clockwise around the layout, we come to the mountain scene. Here is where we saw probably the most dramatic changes. Along with the ground covering being completely refreshed and all the new trees added, there is a village that has been added to the one side of the mountain. Set in amongst the mountain scenes is this hobo camp. Work on the railroad never stops. Here we can see that some more details have been added to the factory setting with a fence and more trees and shrubberies going in place, along with some workers taking a noonday break from their labors. Probably some of the most dramatic changes that have taken place on this layout is down at this end of the mountain, where we had that cold field before. I will include some before photos, during construction, and after photos. But here is the village that was uh, installed, where people can get away from the daily labors of work for that wonderful weekend in the mountains. We have the general store, a little station, of course a tavern where everybody gathers, and Harrison's Hardware, where they can pick up all their needs for that weekend getaway house. Once again, this is Steve, and I hope you have enjoyed this tour and update video on the layout. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. And I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with me. Take care, be safe, like and comment.